Hey everyone, Corey from Corey Reviews back here with another Blu-ray Steelbook unboxing. As you can see, I'm out and about today, but due to a personal family situation, I wasn't able uh, to get to Best Buy on time to do the you know proper out and about. But overall, the experience there uh, at Best Buy today was very interesting. Obviously, today was the uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron Steelbook, and there's the two different editions. There's the uh, the Ultron cover, and there's the Vision cover. And as you can see, I'm actually outside of a Chick-fil-A. I just got something for lunch. So yeah, when I went in there initially, like I said, there were about 30 of each still book. There was just like no one at all. Like no one was actually getting the still books. They were just sitting there. And I was like, all right. So I was able to, you know, to choose which one I wanted. Right when I was starting to walk out, there was, you know, another standee up front that had a, a bunch of still books. And all of a sudden, people started flooding in and started just picking them up. And there was one guy that went over there and like picked up a bunch of them. Another guy that went over there and he like picked up the regular copy and then like decided that he wanted some, some of the still books. So he picked up like multiple still books and also the guy at customer service went over and he took all the the uh the pre-orders off the shelf like they're just still sitting there on the shelf and i was like really surprised i'm like the store has been open at this point for like about probably about 15 20 minutes and the, the pre-order copies are still sitting there on the shelf like someone could have easily just take you know come in and you know or a bunch of people could have come in and just take you know bought up all those copies and you know if all those copies were bought up in the first 15 20 minutes there would be no you know people be coming in for their pre-orders and there would be no pre-order copies to get so i thought that was really interesting so he came over there really fast he like you know ran over there and like took all the copies off the uh the standee and like when before i left there were like two copies left on the standee and probably about anywhere from 10 to 15 copies on the new, new release rack. So pretty much all the copies at my local store were, were wiped out with um, between like the, the first 15 to 20 minutes of the store being open. But one thing I thought was also interesting was when I went up to the front, to the counter, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And so I was kind of just deciding at the checkout and um, since I actually knew you know, one of the guys that worked there, and he actually told me that starting with this Avenger Steelbook, that Best Buy is gonna be limiting their exclusives uh, especially exclusive steelbooks to one copy per person. I guess that you know that happened uh, or it became kind of effective after the the craziness of the Mad Max Fury Road steelbook. So all the Avengers, you can only go there and get one copy. At least at my local store. I'm not sure that's probably why MMV. At least at my local store, it was one copy per person. Uh, even though there are two separate or two different steelbooks, it's still one per person. But yeah, so the one I ended up picking up here is the Ultron cover. I wasn't ultimately too fond with the the Vision one or just the Vision as a character. I mean, I, I didn't mind the Vision. It's just I just prefer you know it, it's called Age of Ultron, so it makes more sense to get the Ultron cover uh, or the back cover at least. And it also says that it's collectible lenticular packaging, so that's kind of interesting. And also in the store, it said that they these were twenty nine ninety nine, and there were some people that saw the, the price sticker and actually just walked off. Uh, but when when it rang up, it rang up nineteen ninety nine. So that's a really good deal considering it comes with a three D copy. And also, I had like a four dollar four dollars left on a gift card, uh, so it came out to like seventeen and change or something like that. And then um, I'll probably end up selling the digital code and you know hopefully getting most of my money back for this release because uh, I just kind of wanted this because uh, my sister has never seen it. But I'm kind of waiting until like Blue Fans or uh, Kimchi DVD or Nova Media puts out you know a better. Uh, release, you know, like a full slip lenticular steel book. Um, but th this is pretty good for now, considering the price, you know, it's really quite good. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the shrink wrap and show you all what is inside the set. But real quick, here's the uh, the back, all the special features. So if you want, you can uh, pause and take a look at any of this. All right, guys, so the paper backing is taken off, and this is what it looks like right here once it's fully taken off. It's pretty cool looking. And the actual still book itself, which looks really nice. Uh, like all that right there is glossy and embossed and slightly debossed as well. A lot of detail right there. And on the back, Ultron is all nice and glossy. And inside, I don't really know why it says lenticular because there's nothing lenticular about this, but you get the digital code and then you get the two discs right there I'm going to take the discs out and that's what the complete inside artwork looks like and the complete outside 
So, I mean, it's it's a really nice looking steelbook, and it's, you know, it's pretty sturdy, it's it's a good steelbook for, you know, $19.99, but again, I don't understand why it says lenticular packaging, and maybe they just ran out of exclusive stickers, I mean, it should say collectible lent, uh, steelbook packaging, but it's very interesting, I don't, I'm not really sure what that's all about, but who knows, it is Best Buy after all. Uh, but yeah, so that's a quick, you know, unboxing somewhat of, of an out and about. I'm sorry that it's not like a, an official out and about. I'm sure a lot of people, you know, probably thumbs down this video because of that. It's been a little while since my last video, so I wanted to at least put out something and give you guys some, some new content. So, hope you guys enjoy this kind of quick, random video. And until next time, Corey from Corey Reviews. See y'all later.